my dear child do not be worried or stressed by the seasons of waiting wedding is not rejection it does not mean you are unworthy it means that even though what is best for you is not here yet so in your own time in slow gentle steps you are going to get to it so take a waiting as a period of learning to understand to accept to be patient with life and yourself and to be grateful for all that you have today the universe will always restore and reward a pure heart stay humble and kind forever observe their actions but never absorb their energy maintain yours keep your mind open and your soul faithful so you will always find your way on the path of honesty no matter how challenging the journey gets remind your spirit of its successful track record so you are always winning a new season is upon you get ready to see your garden grow something big is going to happen very soon energetically that will propel you forward in the direction of your goals so your discipline day in and day out to get a little bit better each day is paying off in ways that are invisible to the naked eye so the universe operates in the shadow while you sleep miracles are being prepared trust that it is all working in your favor So focus on the things you can control show up daily with a growth mindset so my child know that doors will open that were previously unseen as a reward for the deep inner work you are doing right now you have been through so me very difficult challenges over the past couple of years these challenges built an unshakable mindset that you will leverage for the rest of your life to step into your highest potential so make a certain that you give every single day your best possible effort and doors will lead you to an abundant future If you know you have been feeling alone please know that the other worldly support always surrounds and support you and when you ask for help it is answered even if it feels like it is not the solutions you are looking for are meant to be discovered through the process so stay present Pay attention to how your guides may be communicating with you and the subtle messages you are receiving from your higher self through your dreams or daily rituals. So it is highly important to stay centered right now and connect with your higher self. September is a month of immense transformation. So you are constantly being given opportunities to have new experiences but what often happens is that you bring the conditions of your old experiences into it
which makes it feels and seem like the same old thing and this is what makes the power of presence so palpable maintain healthy boundaries but not limiting collisions based on your past trauma allow your experiences to meet you as you are now so because from this organic space you will be amazed at how well life treats you so my child in moments when you feel unsteady or when the ground beneath seems to waver hold on to my assurance from deuteronomy The eternal God is your refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms my arms are always ready to catch you to support you to lift you up Whether you are going soaring in joy or navigating a challenge know that you are cradled in my unending care and protection On those nights when darkness clouds your vision and you are unsure of the way forward reflect on my promise from your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path Even in the darkest hours my guidance shines brightly illuminating the path ahead and offering clarity in the midst of uncertainty So lean on my word and let it slide guide your steps with confidence and peace My child know that You can't change everyone. Some people will treat you badly and there is nothing you can do other than remove yourself from that situation. Not everyone is going to be kind. Not everyone has a heart like you. Some people have been taught more about hurting others than healing them and instead of taking this as a burden on your part so let it go it is not on you to teach everyone to be nice to you but it is your responsibility to detach yourself from those who can't respect you and treat you well You can't change everyone but you can certainly change the people you surround yourself with and give value it so do something about the part of your life instead My child dear god loving god i praise and thank you for being the lord the king and father of my life thank you for purposely having and for giving me a special place in your heart so father let me dwell in you always for only you who can fill my life with light peace strength and hope i need you always in my life oh lord because i feel that without you at my side i will become covert and impatient in the face of my problems and i will easily break under the pressure of anxieties and worldly temptations so thus be my shield my protector and captain of my life i offer to you all of me my past my frustrations my dreams and my goals bless my family as well in jesus name amen so my child know that as a heart as it can be sometimes you need to decide it's time to let go of one person 
of your future to give yourself the future you have always imagined and deserved. The people you choose throughout this life are not always meant for you, not because you don't adore them, but because your paths don't align. As a heart as it is, please don't give up all of who you are or what you have always wanted purely to make a life work for someone else. So compromise where you can but never give up your dreams or your identity to make yourself fit into someone else's idea of a perfect life. So don't betray yourself like that because darling, you deserve so much more. So my child, know that. When they ask you how you made it, you are going to tell them it did not come easy. You mean you were not lucky, you did not get handed anything and the path you walked upon was not perfectly paved with lights and signs that show you the way. And when they ask you how you made it, you are going to tell them you nearly lost yourself a thousand times. That you crawled over the gnarled roots of your insecurities and swam through the muddy waters of your fears. You walked through dark forest alone for endless nights with the only guiding light coming from the north star beating inside your chest and you give your blood and tears for it. You fell to your knees for it. You risk it all for something that comes with no promises or guarantees. But still when they ask you how you made it, you are going to tell them there was no other choice, that your heart beats for it, that your lungs breathe for it. And that the long path that lead you here is the best thing you have ever done. And from the hardship you found peace, from the darkness you found your light. And in the end you made it because the unfalling hurt inside your chest did not know how to quit. So my child know that. To find your purpose you first have come in alignment with who you are. You gotta completely love and accept yourself by embracing your authenticity. Unlearn all the old beliefs rooted in fear and lack of self-love that makes you feel you are not whole, you are worthy of everything as you are. You just have to accept yourself first. And when you realize your worth, you start doing everything for fulfillment, not validation and you naturally start aligning with your purpose by simply following your heart. You start doing whatever excites you, your purpose is something beyond your ego and you can only live for purpose when you let the spirit flow through you.
सो योर पर्पज इज ऑल अबाउट सर्विंग अदर्स थ्रू योर यूनिक क्राफ्ट एंड यू कैन ओनली सर्व अदर्स वेन यू आर सेल्फलेस सो सेल्फनेस लेट्स द यूनिवर्स वर्क थ्रू यू and you deserve to be wonderfully provided for the universe desires to roll out the red carpet just for you but you must be willing to receive that is the key receiving today shift your energy to enjoying your family friends and loved ones so open up more to receive all the goodness in your life go with the flow do what comes natural so do what feels good nurture yourself and the ones you care about the most it is not all about hard work real transformation is the result of hard work the more you open your heart the more you gain access to the divine abundance that is patiently waiting for you you are being set up for the kind of prosperity that is out of this world the projects you are working on right now serve a much bigger purpose than you realize so if you know you are being divinely guided stay with your course of action you will be rewarded generously no but the boom prank of abundance that is coming back around in the next 12 months is so magnificent so you are going to wonder what you did to deserve it all just know that you are worthy of this magnitude of blessings gracefully and graciously receive it all get ready and stay encouraged it is all working for your highest good so my child know that do you realize that the god of the universe who created the heaven and the earth who changes the sky day after day and who decided that the ocean could only come so far up the shores call you beloved he looks at you and sees your brokenness and longs to heal it he spoke the world come into existence and yet he desire an intimate and personal relationship with you surrender he wants nothing but the absolute best for you whereas people change god remains the same yesterday today and forever more and he will never leave you not forsake you they may break their promises to you but god never does frustrations disappointment annoyance all normal but don't let the negativity you feel affect what you say and how you respond and who you are So take a deep breath God is in charge of others leave them be you get to be spiritually healthy kind grace giving learn to let things go So don't assume the worst or create a negative back story humans are flaw mistakes are made leave it at that it is okay you are okay so move on free of negative thoughts rise above the irritations and god wants inner peace for you 
so my child know that one day you will look back on this time and all you will see its magic you would not remember how struck you felt or how far behind you thought you were or what you wish you had done differently all you will see is that within your uncertainty was also your potential and within your lostness was also an opportunity to be found and within your discomfort was also a chance to see what you needed to change and changing it was you becoming the person you were always meant to be and if there is one single thought that can comfort you in your darkest quietest nights so please let it be this one day you will look back on this time and all you will see is magic My child know that I hope you allow your life to be more than you ever thought it could be and I hope you press back on the limiting thoughts that have made you cling so tightly to the worlds you have already outgrown So I hope you will listen to the little calling in your heart that knows what is really true and even if your mind does not yet understand how it might be possible I hope you will consider that maybe There is more available to you than you even know to ask for. I hope you will let yourself be expanded to see that there are others just like you taking big leaps in the direction you always hope to go. But have I just been waiting on the courage? I hope you will take nothing for granted. No lesson, no person, no place. I hope you will see that everything was a teacher. Even the most unlikely of experiences was in some way there to guide to your path. I hope you will have faith in the fact that everything that is meant for you will find you remain with you or return to you and it is only a matter of when I hope you will realize that when you ask for a bigger experience you will first be handed the lessons that will grow you into the type of person who would have that life you want I hope you will begin to see the purpose in what is seem meaningless. I hope you will have never lose faith that your happy endings is still there and still waiting. I hope you will remember that is no desire that can be within us without an equal amount of potential to make it reality. I hope you will let yourself dream. So I hope you will let yourself consider more than you assume you would be able to have not always in scale but in depth and beauty and truth. I hope you will know that no experience will be wasted. I hope you know it will all eventually add up. Most of all, I hope you will realize that the journey was the becoming, not the arriving, and I hope you will give yourself the chance to enjoy the journey while you are still on it. So my child know that 
जिस इज केयर फॉर योर इमोशंस ही वुड नेवर आस्क यू टू डिनाई योर इमोशंस क्रिटिसाइज योर सेल्फ फॉर हैविंग दैम और पुट ऑन अ हैप्पी फेस टू इम्प्रेस पीपल Instead, the spirit of Jesus wants you to trust him with your emotions. He invites you to open the hurting part of yourself to receive his comfort and grace. Bringing our emotions to God in prayer and a tender-hearted friend in conversation is how we learn not to ruminate with worry, react to anger or spiritual down into shame. it provides the empathy validation and comfort that's written us to be able to carry our burden and make wise decision no matter what emotions we feel we can do what is good and right as we trust our feelings to the lord and wait for god's provision and guidance people who are struggling i have often hear things like i'm too much nobody cares about me and i will only be loved if these are all expressions of shame they are essentially saying that is me and i'm bad to feel ashamed is to believe yourself to be bad and rejected for your badness You think you are worthless and unlovable you reject yourself and expect others including God to reject you so instead you run away and hide like Adam and Eve Nothing good comes from shame If suffocates our soul of the love connection and grace that we need it pulls us down down into depression and isolation further and further away from the mercury of Christ and the care of other people shame sucks the joy of the lord out of our lives rendering us incapable of loving god or other people when we punish ourselves with guilt judgment and condemnation we are rejecting the mercury of grace that we need which cuts off the flow of god's spirit of grace from us to others god does not want us to slide down into guilt judgment self condemnation shame and self hatred it does not honor him and it would not be help other people or you instead god would have us respond to our limitations with the sadness that leads to repentance rethinking our approach to life and turning around to trust in jesus and bring ourselves into god's kingdom so my child know that emotional maturity and spiritual expansion are never linear and certainly don't run parallel to others our expressions app and flow we all have some high seasons and some low we may witness the tides of those we care for but we are not mean to monitor measure or compare our growth Nor should we expect to share the exact some point of awareness. Each of us wades through the deep waters of traumas, fears, insecurities, blessings, hope, and aspirations. And while you may be riding a wave and celebrating a positive chapter in your life, someone you love could be in the deep and showing up to challenging conversations. 
and being willing to learn from one another is more critical than being perfectly aligned on your inner journeys. Any intention to prove your point, stand your ground, shame or punish the other will leave no room for closeness, clarity or resolve. If you come with questions and open heart and the awareness that you are two difficult souls navigating uncomfortable human experiences, you invite understanding, create opportunities to deepen the healing not the suffering and heighten the maturity and beauty of your world my child know that emotional maturity and spiritual expansion are never linear and certainly don't run parallel to others Our experience ebb and flow, we will have some high seasons and some low, we may witness the tides of those we care for but we are not mean to monitor, measure or compare our growth. Nor should we expect to share the exact same point of awareness, each of us wades through the deep waters of trauma. Fears, insecurities, blessings, hope, and aspirations. And while you may be riding a wave and celebrating a positive chapter in your life, someone you love could be in the deep end. Showing up to channeling conversations and being willing to learn from one another is more critical than being perfectly aligned on your inner journey. Any intention to prove your point, stand your ground, shame or punish the other will leave no room for closeness, clarity or resolve. If you come with questions and open heart and the awareness that you are two different souls navigating uncomfortable human experiences, you invite understanding, create opportunities to deepen the healing, not the suffering and heighten the maturity and beauty of your bond. So my child know that like the first of God trusting up toward the heavens the star raked mountain holds form as thunder bolt crash down on all sides the sound is reflecting as it echoes from mountain peaks to mountain peak Mountains represent strength, power and permanence as well as being a potent symbol for attaining spiritual heights as they extend into the sky towards the heaven. So thunder and lightning traditionally represent surging power, enlightenment and revelation of divine matters. Thunder ignites our deeper self and activates our primal and deep emotions. Together the mountain and thunder symbolize immense power, vitality and train. This is your time. This is the time to claim your power and step into your potential.
this does not necessarily mean that you will be without fear you might feel uncertain but do it anyway be courageous let the world hear your voice take a stand stand up for yourself and for others share your passion teach from the heart write and your words will have great meaning hold your body as if you are incredibly valiant noble and brave after all you are so my child know that the universe is asking you to remember who you are maybe you have felt a bit lost lately or maybe it is because life has been so busy that you have not been so focused on you but instead it focus on others or task that you are trying to achieve make time to connect with your soul and remember your true power we are soul being living a human existence and we can help shape that existence we are that powerful we are also greatly loved even if at times we forget this don't feel that love the universe has our back and will always look to guide us it cannot interfere with our free will but it does offer guidance should we wish to listen and take up the guidance and it will work on our belief if especially ask for this assistance connect into the universe because with you and the universe in co-creation you will be able to achieve things quicker and easier while is feeling supported and loved You can learn the easier route to take as the universe will point out that path to you. It is then up to you as to whether you act on this guidance or not. This is your free will because ultimately you are in charge of your life and have the final say in your choice and the way your life your life in this human existence. You Archangel Michael also wants to let those know that if there is anyone ever trying to take your power from you then he can always be called upon to help you He can provide protection and help release you from the grip they have on you helping you to take back your power he can help you cut cords from those who don't have your highest good in their intentions and let go of any behaviors and thought patterns that keep you stuck in these situations All you need to do is ask for this assistant and he will be there for you. So my child no dare. We are taught to go after our goals with relentless hunger to be insist and unrelenting to what what we want. However when it comes to love relationships happiness and fulfillment we can't attain these things the way we would our material desire not only would we lose our sanity but we would lose our sense of self So to close the gap between the emotional needs we crave 
वी हैव टू बी इन द रिसिप्टिव मोड इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ द पर्सिंग मोड द रिसिप्टिव मोड इन्वाइट्स एक्सेप्टेंस पीस ट्रस्ट एंड पॉजिटिव सेल्फ वर्थ Imagine that authentic love and fulfilling relationships are not things you can achieve but experiences you can gravitate towards through a natural pull of synchronous energies. And this does not mean that you don't need to foster meaningful relationships. It simply means that your main job is to create and maintain an internal environment where these things thrive any energy you repel convey the message that it does not resonate with the energy you carry which can be a blessing or a wake up call when you chase love the only reality you hold in your present moment is that love is not abundant in your life so your tireless desire to gain love is an admission of lack a pursuit of completeness because you don't feel whole you are telling yourself and the universe that love does not surround you and that you must actively and continuously go after it and in turn end up pushing it further from your grasp and when you have a healthy relationship with yourself and cultivate love from within you create an energetic force field around you which becomes magnetic to your soul's desire So the bigger difference is that you will attract these things not because you desperately need or crave them but because you created an emotional atmosphere conducive to nurturing them And when we pursue people safety love and security in the hopes of finding it within someone or some place else we discredit our ability to create it within ourselves and you are every bit deserving of happiness and contentment and once you begin to discover it within you will find it everywhere you go Dear someone no I often find myself looking back on my life and realizing how much of a vital part you have played in keeping me steady when the rest of my world has been falling apart So how you have know what to say and do in moments when i have felt all control slipping through my fingers even if it is just dropping everything and taking me for coffee and listening to me try to untangle the mess of thoughts raging war inside my head So you have been the quiet voice encouraging me on the days when i feel like everything i touch turns bad and when i have felt like giving up when i have questioned every decision and i have ever made and it was you who convinced me i was on the right path so you have been the hand against my back guiding me every step of the way when the road has seemed too dark and too long and just too far out of my reach
so you did not let me falter or stop or turn around you have made me feel as if it is only me who matters even if i am being selfish even if it is silly drama you have made me believe it still counts you have been the person i know i can talk to about anything whom it is perfectly acceptable for me to say my bitchy thoughts out loud to and discuss in appropriate things with nothing is off limits with you there is absolutely no parts of myself i shield from you because i know you love them all i know that there is nothing about me and that is too much for you even when it is for other people You just fit in like the missing jigsaw piece to my life and I know that no matter what happens now you will always be here because it would not be right without you So thank you for days wandering around the city window shopping and laughing and planning exciting dates months from now thank you for making me feel steady for being the person I want to text straight away whenever something hilarious or amazing or sad happens for your words being the only ones that matters So my child know that Have you ever looked back at scarce times, tough times and stuck times and realized that while you may have gone through hell you have always been taken care of in some way It is a case of taking off the fear goggles and recognizing yourself for your creativity and resilience as well as your connection to the higher source and angels for getting you through so you are not true yet then take this as your sign that you will be soon a non spiritual person might call in luck but you and i know better the tough spells are precious of spiritual growth they always teach us something when you are willing to see it that away and that is how you build wisdom you learn what you want and don't want you learn who you really are you find purpose and you are advanced this card reminds you that you are on a never ending journey with your soul and you are growing spiritually keep the faith that positive change is your material and emotional life will soon follow spark up your own power by realizing you hold the reins of your life connect with source and the angels for guidance and support spiritual growth does not always have to be painful but sometimes it takes time for our mind to catch up with our soul plan
so this message remind you that you are on a never ending journey with your soul you are growing spiritually keep the faith that positive change in your material and emotional life will soon follow spark up your own power by realizing you hold the reins of your life connect with source and the angels for guidance and support spiritual growth does not always have to be painful so spark up but sometimes it takes time for our mind to catch up with our soul plan so my child know that there is a cycle that is beyond your control but this is not a bad thing because the spirit is trying to teach and bring you to the highest purpose in your life in this lifetime however trust one door close one door open and if you are going through a rough patch remember this is just temporary in the meantime you are guided to live the fullest a successful relationship does not always come in smooth journey it also comes in very rough patch too adjustment and being in present are very needed and there is someone in the past that feels so regret for what they did to you in the past they wish to be able to treat you rightly with love and respect they are willing to adjust and work they are part to give what you deserve however you are guided to take it easy and let go of the control those ups and downs are for both of you and for yourself to understand the connection better as well as work in individuality you might see your saving money goes down often than increasing or you might perhaps feel there is changing in your financially good or bad This spirit wants you to adapt in your situation and be disciplined in order to increasing it more. For some try to focus because you have been given such a good offer hand to hand. someone is coming to you so you can help them heal they see you as a nurturer and they know that you would not just them for their past actions or what has happened to them in the past they struggle to let go because it hurts them so deeply and they have been through an awakening and see everything so differently now they want to wipe the slate clean can you open your heart to let them in when they come knocking you may be busy working on another business idea or thinking of what to create next in your life however i do see that when this person comes towards you you will feel a deep love and you will want to help
सो माई चाइल्ड नो डैट You probably know Jesus' parable about the shepherd leaving the ninety-nine sheep to find the one that is lost. But have you ever put yourself in that story? Not only when you trusted in Christ for salvation, but also in your life today. Today, Jesus wants to shepherd you in this story, and we all get lost at a times. We can't find our way forward or don't know what to do. because we don't know where we are the lord jesus describes our location as being like sleep ship without a shepherd scattered lost wandering about aimlessly Our shepherds offer his tender heart to help us grow in self-awareness. What do you want me to do for you? And do you want to get well? Ask and keep asking, and it will be given to you. So, are you tired, worn out, burn out on religion? Come to me. Are you thirsty? I have living waters for you. So my child know that. Archangel Santel Fon is also known as the angels of prayers. This is because according to many texts He is portrayed as an extremely tall figure who carries each prayer made by humans to the heavens. So he is therefore a messenger for humans which is why he is referred to as the angel of prayer. Sandalfon gives courage to your feminine expect a walking the courageous warrior and goddess within a warrior who is guided through the heart she urges you to awaken your understanding of your connection to the earth and your intercontinent connectedness to all of your life so the life force of earth not only runs through your body but supports your external world which in turn supports you physical being and it is time to discard any habit of excesses and waste So the tree of life can only persist if all the parts in a harmonious dance of unity with each other. Sandal phone asks you to take a deep and honest look at your life and how can you change how you live daily in ways that will bring your life into alignment with a more sustainable model for others to see and follow. So where can you let go of stuff internal and external that releases the clutter and changes your beliefs and habits and your way of living the earth is your home and it is time to do some serious housekeeping and major cleaning You are a guardian of earth and it is time to fully step into that role and do what needs to be done so 
so dear someone no my time is valuable my feelings are important my energy is infinite and should be treated accordingly sometimes the best solution to a problem is sleeping on it deep breathing is actually effective when anxiety strikes trust should be earned not freely given there are few tasks that are truly urgent meaning not everything needs an immediate response so being avoidant is not the same thing as setting boundaries grief is not linear taking any anti deep suppressants as it turns out does help with the depression some people don't understand because they don't want to get it and it's not my job to keep explaining so what burns me out will never light me up my parents are just people the excuses i keep making for someone else will lose their poetry over time sometimes joy finds me sometimes i must seek it myself So I got tired of my own shit. I stopped blaming them, stopped waiting on them to change. Yes, they were at fault, and I was too. I allowed it. I allowed them to treat me like I was disposable, like I did not matter, and that was on me. And if I had truly loved myself, I would have never allowed it. So I started with me I chose myself and it was hard I doubt my decision was I willing to lose them like really lose them I remember the thought of losing them flooded my body with anxiety and I got scared really scared the thought of losing them scared the shit out of me and I also know I needed to let them go to find me to work on loving me and to never again lower my standards like that losing them was a win and it was a win for me i choose me i would choose to me time and time again i'm safe with me i know that i have got me i will no longer put my hurt in the hands of those who don't know how to care for it i have learned to love me i have come to understand my pain i now understand why i stay Once I understood and accepted my heartbreak lead me back to me and now I know better so my child know that and the lord speak unto moses saying the daughters of zelophon speak right those shall surely give them a position of an inheritance among their father brethren of their father to pass unto them and those shalt speak unto the children of israel saying if a man die and have no son then shall cause his inheritance to pass unto his daughter and if we have no daughter then we shall give 
his in audience unto his preetham and if we have no breathan then you shall give his inheritance unto his father breathan and in his father have no breathan then shall give his inheritance unto his kinsman that is next to him of his family and he shall possess it and it shall be unto the children of israel a statue of judgment as the lord commanded moses But the Jew which believed not moved with envy took unto them certain lew fellows of the baser sort, and gathered a company and set all the city on uproar and assaulted the house. And sought to bring them out to the people, and when they found them not, they drew Jason and certain Brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, "This that have turned the world upside down are come hither also, whom Jason hath received, and this all do, contrary to decree of Saint Caesar, saying that there is another king, and one Jesus." and they troubled the people and the rulers of the city when they heard these things and when they had taken security of jason and of the other they let them go so my child know that because you have so much left to learn because you have not met your next best friend because you deserve to heal because you deserve your own love because you deserve to be here because the storm always passes because you have infinite potential to be discovered because summer is on its way because winter becomes magical to you again so because you have not finished writing your novel and a little girl you will never meet needs it because of art because of your dog because of your chosen family by blood or otherwise because shit get better because you have not been to ireland because feelings are not facts because you are someone's proof that goodness still exists in people because you are important because you have not seen springsteen on broadway in person yet because you are about to find a book that shifts your perspective on everything because you figure it out because you matter because you are loved because you are needed because what you think is unforgivable about you is not as bad as you think because you are allowed to be imperfect because it's not time to go type yes if you have faith and trust in god <laughs>